Not a cold start, but still sounds pretty good. What do you even think? Like you hear a car make those noises, what do you, what do you think? <laughs> a lot of you are asking me about windows broken. That's just him. All right, here we go, 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 here we go. If you guys don't already know who I am, my name is Danny. This is my 2009. <laughs> wow, okay. If you guys don't know me already, my name is Danny. This is my 2009 Nissan 370Z. It has a good amount of mods. It's kind of stock. It is. And a lot of you always ask me every single day, what's your mod list? You should make a mod list video. You should do this. You should do that. I always make a mod list video at the end of every year. I did one at the end of 2018, at the end of 2019, and right now at the end of 2020. There's one more mod. Or one big mod that we haven't done yet, which I wanted to wait until we got that one done and then do everything at the same time But that mod is so big just itself that we're gonna stop waiting on that We're gonna do a full mod list video now, and then when that comes along you guys will know But oh my god, look at all this carbon. Oh my goodness, look at all Oh, I can't, I can't But if you are new here, go ahead and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe do all that good YouTube stuff You guys have actually no idea how much it helps Whenever you thumbs up the video, you comment. Actually, comment right now. This is gonna be a good one. This will be a good one. At the end of the video, I'm gonna be putting how much I've spent on this car. So I want you guys to right now. But then again, I'm gonna put full price. I would say like 70% of the parts that I have on my car are discounted. Because I've worked with the company, I give them promotion, they give me discounts, or something like that. Thanks to you guys, you put me in a spot where I can do things like that, so I don't want to be dishonest and say I've paid this much, when I've probably paid, like, a lot less than that. But, full price of every part, it's going to be put at the end. I know I'm rambling, I'm rambling, but we just got to give Florida some credit. It is like 60 degrees right now, it is nice, it is cool, it is beautiful. So let's get started with the video. Okay, so what makes more sense to start off with is the exterior. When I first bought this car, I told myself I wanted to make it look nice because it was already fast. Now, I'm 21 now, that was like, I've had this car for like three, almost four years. Do I still think it's fast? It's not, it's not fast. At the time I thought it was fast, though I bought it because it was a quick car and I just wanted to make it look nice. Now, have I gotten to a point where I'm very, very, very content with how the car looks? Yes. Nice, simple, but super aggressive. Starting off with the front, one of the main things you're gonna notice is either carbon fiber or the bumper. We're gonna start with the bumper though. This is a 2015 plus Nismo bumper. On my car, <laughs> it's not a Nismo, it's not a, it's not a, it is a 2009 sport model, but for those of you that don't know, you can actually put Nismo bumpers on a sport model. No modifications needed, it's literally just a direct bolt on. You just gotta buy the bumper and then just put it on your car and you have a Vismo. I did make a video about that, I'm gonna link it down below. But next up, on the bumper we got these really nice custom DRLs that also work as blinkers. Absolutely love them, made by Autotune Customs. Love the guy. Really nice Japanese logo that I subscribe actually sent out. Little custom Z logo with like carbon fiber under. Nice. We got my most recent and honestly kind of favorite mod. The carbon hood. Look at this, look at this beauty, dude. Look. This one is actually the Alliance Carbon AMS style hood. The fitment is great. Like, I absolutely love this hood. To complement the hood, or maybe the hood to complement this, we got the carbon fiber fenders. These are carbon fiber GT3 from Alliance Carbon, I believe. Not GT3, GT4 carbon fiber fenders. Either way, I'm gonna link the hood and the fenders. Link in the description. I try to link everything else, but yeah, for the front, 2015 plus Nismo bumper. Alliance Carbon Hood, Alliance Carbon Fenders, and then we got the Morimoto headlights. Absolutely love these. One of the things I got roasted on since I got the car was my yellow headlights. I literally cleaned my headlights, my old headlights, my stock ones, like 10 times, and they kept getting yellow, so I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and get the Morimoto headlights. They look beautiful, I love them. They got three LED bulbs, they got a daytime running light, which goes with these down here, and it's just, I love this headlight. Great investment, something you don't know you need, until you buy it and you install it, 100%. And that pretty much kind of does it for the front, right? Uh, we'll have a banner. I have a banner that says Danny Z. I don't know if that counts. 
It does. It's plus 30 horsepower. How could I forget that? That's okay. Moving on to the side, we got some carbon fiber mirrors by Jalisco's Carbon Fiber. Then we come down here and got some carbon fiber door handles, one of the first mods I ever did to the car. Actually, I got these so far long ago that I didn't even have YouTube, but these are from Evo R. Then we got some more. <coughs> Yo, what is that beeping? What is that beeping? Like, are you good? And then over here, we got some more Alliance Carbon Fiber. We got the B pillar form. And I'm pretty happy to say that most of the parts on this car are made with like dedication and people actually care about the parts that they make, so. It's pretty good to say. This is a sidey sticker which is actually falling apart. What even is this, bro? <laughs> I cannot believe I almost forgot, but these rotors right here, R1 rotors and painted calipers. Did it myself. I actually installed these rotors not too long ago. Go ahead and watch that video. Every single mod, I'm gonna link down that video where I installed the mod. So that's gonna help you guys out. Rotors are drilled and slotted. Completely changed the look of this car. Completely like, oh my God. That's a Z. <laughs> And to go along with the rotors in the rear, I actually got extended lug nuts along with a 10 mil spacer. That's why the fitment is so freaking minty. And I am lowered on HNR springs. I am not on coil lowers. I've been on springs for like two years now, about, no, yeah, like about two years. Absolutely love them. The drop, as you can see, very nice, very dealable, you could say. Even in the front, I mean, look how nice this looks. We're gonna come down here, kind of just talk about the wheels. So this is another very, very, very highly request. Oh my God. Oh, the car's not even on neutral. Ooh, okay. So this is super requested, highly asked question. What wheels are these that you're running on the 370Z? I love these wheels. Honestly, going through the whole struggle of picking out wheels for your car was a really fun, but really hard experience. And the fact that I actually came with these Shout out to my boy Angel. He sent it to me. I'm like, these are it. These are it. So I got really lucky. But these are Forge Stars CF5 Vs. I believe these are like $1,800 for the four. Size. A lot of you ask me about size. George from Kansas, I got you, bro. So the rears are 19 by a half plus 15. Fronts are 19 by nine and a half plus 20. I know you're going to comment it. Get rid of that wing. It's not going to happen. And the next mod we're going to talk about. This big old whale tail. I honestly love this wing. Have I thought about taking it off? Yes, am I gonna? Probably not, unless we're like changing out the whole look of the car, which we will, probably not now, but in the future, maybe next year, we probably will. But this wing I actually got from a subscriber. I drove like an hour away to get it. It's the Durflex Vader, I believe. And I absolutely love it. I love it, baby girl, don't worry. You're not going anywhere anytime soon. I got you, I got you. Coming to the rear of the car and coming down here, these are honestly, these tail lights mean a lot to me. They took about four months of work. Big, big thank you to AutoTune Customs. Man is a legend. He made these tail lights for me. Fully custom. We thought of the design and then he did everything from there. It says Danny C right there. We got a honey honeycomb pattern. These tail lights, as you saw from that video, are freaking just insane. Everybody loves them. My favorite thing about the car. The most unique thing about the car. There's only one in the world with these tail lights and this style tail lights. And it's my 370Z Britney, so that's amazing. Come down here, we got the, not gonna say it yet, I know what you're thinking, but not yet. We got the street auto diffuser, completes the rear end of the car. I mean, just look how mean the diffuser looks with the custom tail lights with the nice wing, and then you got the fins on the side. I love how this diffuser looks, it is great. And then we got a little bit of custom work here. I took off these, uh, the emblem, painted it. Looks pretty good still, it's cool. I keep forgetting about this one, we got an IJDM toy fourth brake light but in reality it's my third brake light because this third one is covered by the wing so i need this actually my third brake light if you did not notice for some reason for the rear i have the 2015 and up nismo bumper as well same as the front direct bolt on oh the fitment isn't as great it might be a little loose it works really good and it looks so amazing and aggressive and now i'm about to surprise you guys like i'm about to surprise you bro i haven't told anybody this yet but there is indeed no new mods under the engine. Let's freaking go. All right, so yeah, um, the car basically just has two and a half inch still intakes, ADD W1 catch cans. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like to be completely honest, my favorite thing that's under the hood that I bought for this car, the struts. These struts are actually amazing. I almost had to take them off when putting on the carbon fiber hood, but I was able to keep them on. <laughs> and I am so thankful because I absolutely love these struts. That's pretty much it though. Um, I know what you guys want me to do to the car. Trust me, I want it more than you do. We're actually on a waiting list. So there's like two more cars in front of me and then I'm next. And we're talking like two weeks from now. I'm giving no context. Cause if you know, you know, and if you don't, 
you know. But as of now, just let me shut this up. She's a little shy, you know. It's, all right, good girl. Almost forgot another mechanical thing I have is the heavy duty slave cylinder into a stage two clutch, I believe. Yeah, that's mainly all. Oh, not all of it, but to finish off the exteriors and engine work, we're gonna talk about your guys kind of favorite part of the car and that is the exhaust setup the exhaust setup so i am running stock headers into two and a half inch ev test pipes into z1 y pipe non-resonated and then full on <laughs> let's come over here look at that tome we got half stainless steel and then the tome is full titanium and it sounds freaking amazing or maybe it doesn't kind of depends who you are but 95 percent of people do love the sound Next up, the interior. You guys absolutely love the interior. This car is such a popular series on the channel, but over here, we had to do it to them. Get the brown bucket seats. The seats in this car were absolutely horrific. These were just a must. So we got the bucket seats with the brown five point harness. I'm only four points though because of fifth point. You gotta drill into the car and I, I kind of didn't want to do it that one day. Four point is fine. To be able to run the five point harness, you have to gonna get a harness bar also from Brom big sponsor of the channel love their products a lot of Z owners put their harness to this and I just want to tell you guys now from what I've read and my research everybody talked crap on it and said it wasn't safe so me sort of my daily driver not really I decided I'm gonna be safe seat belts and everything is the thing that you gotta be secure about so I just went ahead and got the harness bar at first I didn't but then I'm like you know let me do it the right way seats and this mod change your car completely Steering wheel. This is a Jalisco's carbon fiber steering wheel. It's got leather on the sides and then you got a nice carbon on the top. It's got a nice flat bottom. I absolutely love this steering wheel. My previous one got all scratched up. I always wore a promise ring and I don't anymore because every time I wore it, it like scratched up the whole steering wheel. So I needed a new one and this one is actually perfect. Shout out to my guy Jalisco. Then we got a really nice cheeky GTR startup button. Fits on 370Z. Really cool. Ta -ta -ta. Homemade shift knob, yes sir. The stitching, this stitching I actually got from my buddy Josh, the ones that makes carbon. And where to get the material and how to do this, I'll link it down below. But this thing, I absolutely love. Completely custom and it looks amazing. The last thing I do want to touch on is the car is tuned. It is tuned by limp mode tuning. When you put breather mods in your car, like intakes, and then you put straight pipes and you get three inch ex exhaust, you kind of have to tune it so the car runs right. The ratios are good and all that. Not only is the car faster, you also get different maps, which you can switch through right here. It's really cool, but you can pops. Regular driving, sort of a race map. You get a mode where it completely cuts fuel and the car cannot be turned on. It's kind of really cool. And then you also get two step. You go one, two, three. Gonna say that's anti lag, so I'm gonna do this one as well. I don't know if that's two step or anti lag or anti two step, <laughs> but it's also good.